from Southport today, spending our Sunday at the beach, cracking a tin. Now, this is illegal, but you know, it's okay. Hey, so is new. The beach, the waves, the ocean. We're getting, Lovely. Our, getting our weekly dose of vitamin D. We've been cooped up in our city offices. Too long. I haven't seen Elf yet. A homeward bound tour coming up on this episode. We yeah, did a back bit of a in tour, March April. Tour in March of central Queensland. And that was with Cleveland Blues and the Red Eye Junction and Jackson Dunn. That went well. It went exceptionally well. It did. We'll have a bit of footage from that today. A little while ago, Christian took his shirt off down on the beach and the ladies went wild. There was a bit of a mob scene. Um, I was mobbed. It was mobbed. They were mostly... It's like that Lynx ad. Yeah, it's like the Lynx ad. It's a little bit like at the end of the movie Perfume, when the ladies just come and they eat the man alive because he's so attractive. Um, so, anyway, that was a bit of a mob scene. He's recovered now. Um, yeah, I had to put my shirt on. Had the shirt, to shirt stop up. the riots. Yeah. The Gold Coast the Marathon. Lifeguards, actually. Gold Coast Marathon on today. Yeah, and with the traffic. It took us about Pricey an ran hour to get here. Pricey ran the, the half marathon. He's working up to the full one next year. Yeah. You pulled up all right. A few blisters, mate, or? No. No, I got good orthopedic thongs. <laughs> yeah, does it well. And what sort of fluids do you consume for the uh, for the race? Keeps the endurance up. How many Keeps tins, a lot of things up. How many tins up. knock back over the 20 or so k? We're not talking in terms of tins, we're talking in terms of cases. Right. Three. Three whole cases. Three case economy for half a marathon. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sweated I out. sweated it all out, that's why I'm sober now. Yeah. Right. Well anyway, we've got a bit of footage of Cleveland Blues and Red Eye Junction. Coming at you live! Guitar God <laughs> and uh, from the Gold Coast. That's right, Jackson's a uh, super help. speedy player. We'll have a bit of a clip of him coming up. Jackson, what's been going on, mate? Yeah, what I've been doing uh, lately is pretty much just playing as much guitar as I can at home and uh, just fine tuning my axe and uh, getting ready for spring. I don't really do too many gigs during winter as a rule. He's like a hibernating yeah, bear. Like a hibernating bear. Oh. Tune my act, that. Grow your hair. Grow my hair. Eat shave my, my stuff. Buy fat foods. Exactly. Yeah. Now, um, you've got a release coming out soon, or are you going to go back in the studio? Is yep. that the story? Yeah, I'm back in the studio, uh, aiming to release something for this summer, uh, whether it's a single or an EP. What I'm looking at the moment. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, and you said good. you said a few weeks ago it was going to be a bit of a different sort of release. It is going to be a different release. I'm going to um, try and capture what I do on stage. Yeah. Which is, I don't know, pretty hard to, you know, to do, always a challenge. Yeah, it's always a challenge, but I think I'm going to nail it this time, so I'm looking forward to it. And uh, your last album, mate, a bit of a combination of slower, yeah. um, ballad-type songs, and then you're sort of moving, we saw on the tour anyway, you're moving towards a, just a hardcore yeah, style, yeah, a little yeah. bit of a dirty sound. Is that where the new That's exactly where I'm heading. Yeah. That's exactly where I'm heading. 
with this album. Uh, I'm not really heartbroken at the moment. Life's good. Everything's <laughs> running in the plan, so I'm not really writing any love songs at the moment. But I really, really, really want to showcase my guitar work on this album and um, tip some heads. It's lovely. Got some good news during the week. Yes. Got a good phone call. Yes, I did. A uh, pretty prominent um, DJ duo. On from, Brothers. <laughs> from the Gold Coast, I won't give out any names. Uh, approached me and wanted to remix a couple of one of my songs and took some of my CDs to choose which one, so fingers crossed. Beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good to be weird. hearing Jackson Dunn in, in the club. pubs and the Yeah, that'd be great. So um, Jackson will be joining us. We're doing another Homewood Bound tour in September. Yeah. the same acts. And um, we've got a bit of footage of him now from Bundaberg. At the Club Hotel. Club Hotel, that went pretty well that gig. That was a good gig. Yeah, yes. hometown gig. Home that was my hometown, yeah. And your grandma was there. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma was there. She loved it. <laughs> she did, she loved it every oh, second. Shit. Anyway, here's a bit of Jackson Dunn. Nice. Woo! <laughs> We had a, a, a little ripper of a gig at the Roller Derby. Yeah, played uh, 3,000. About 3,000 there. Sold a lot of merch and that was a really great night. Absolutely Ripple stoked, yeah. It was good, good to find that community of the Roller Derby chicks. So it was a great crowd. Yeah, probably a um, highlight, musical highlight for me anyway. We got awarded a highly commended in the Blues and Roots section of the Q Music Song Awards. Hey! Uh, yeah, that was pretty, pretty tops. Well, behind that smile. Hopefully we can back that up with a with a win. A win next year. Next year. We've got the, the Queensland Festival of, of Blues uh, at July the July 18th. Yep, yeah, July 18th at the Jubilee Hotel, and that's going to be an absolute corker. Our mates Jimmy Beavis and Paul uh, Renton, Paul Renton, and, uh, top. and even uh, Brian Lemon are playing that day. That's true. Also so, got a double header in Toowoomba and Brisbane on the 23rd, 24th. Yeah. The Spotted Cow. Spotted Cow yeah. and Bar Soma. So come along and have a beer and a good time. Both are free entry, so no excuse there. Christian's been laying down some fat beats on his computer device. And uh, sooner or later we're going to be uh, busting out a bit of a rap track. So, uh, old P-Rex. Old P-Rex is going to come out of the clock. No, he's out of the clock. <laughs> oh, no. Here we are. Is that awkward moment Here's you're talking about? Sorry, Mum. <laughs> P-Rex is gonna come out of hiding, <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna lay down some fat. Oh, I always saw that chopper, mate. <laughs> I've always been curious. <laughs> anyway, remember, until next week, if you're out, out in the, the surf, surf, don't drop in on your mates. <laughs>